Hello everyone. Today I'd like to take a moment to speak with you about multispectral imaging and spectral unmixing and why spectral unmixing is important for unlocking the future of medicine and the power of tissue biomarkers. So what we do at Akoya Biosciences is we enable you to use uh, multispectral imaging and spectral unmixing to capture seven color whole slide multispectral images in a workflow that we call Motif. So here I'm showing Fox P3 shown in white for Opal 570, pancytic keratin in cyan as Opal 780, PDL1 as Opal 520, CD68 as Opal 620, PD1 as Opal 690, and CD8 as Opal 540. The challenge with using, with using a conventional system to image seven colors is that we simply don't have the ability to isolate those emissions from seven colors simultaneously with a conventional imaging system. And the reason for that is, is because conventional imaging systems are reliant upon these narrowband filters uh, that simply aren't able to image seven colors simultaneously and have bleed throw between, between those different filters. And we can see that when we have seven different colors, we have a large amount of overlap between our different fluorophores of interest. So here's the conventional fluorescence, and you can see the bleed over shown by high percentages. Some of them are highlighted in red, and some of them are highlighted in yellow. And this is bleed over from conventional fluorescence systems. Well, with Akoya Biosciences, what we do is we perform spectral unmixing to alleviate that bleed over so that we can characterize six markers or seven colors in a tissue by imaging the whole slide without that spectral bleed over. And you can see there is a massive difference between the purity of signal after unmixing and that of a conventional fluorescence system. So how do we do this? Well, we do this uh, with our systems, such as the Vector Polaris Multispectral Imaging System in our Motif workflow, where we have a number of different channels. So we have seven different channels, and each of these channels is going to be able to uh, image a marker of interest, or in the case of DAPI, the nuclei. We recognize that between these channels, there is bleed over, but this is what makes us different. We're able to account for that bleed over and spectrally unmix it because we're characterizing those channels of interest and we have the ability to pull out not only that overlap but also autofluorescence. And I thank you for your time and uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.